Shalom, everyone, to numerical gems in the Torah. All of our patriarchs and matriarchs are buried in Hebron, in the Maratha Machpelah, in the cave of Machpelah. The only one that is not is Rachel, Rachel. And we are told in the Torah that when Yaakov and family return to Eretz Yisrael after Yaakov has been out for 20 years, in those 20 years he married Rachel and Leah, and with their maidservants Bela and Zilpah, he had 12 children. And when they came back to Eretz Yisrael, so Rachel dies in childbirth, giving birth to Ben Yamin. And she's buried outside of Beit Lechem, Bethlehem. And the question is, why is she buried there? And we're told that in the future, when the Jewish people would be taken into exile, they would go past her grave and she would cry for them and those tears would ensure that someday they would come back. And we know this from a prophecy from Jeremiah where in a prophetic vision he hears Rachel crying. Kol barama, Rachel mevache al baneha. Rachel is crying for her children. And the prophet comforts the soul of Rachel and says, Vishavu banim ligvulam, that the children will return to their borders. So this is a tradition that is, is handed down. We see a numerical gem here that the numerical value of the name Rachel is 238. There's this idea of inverse numbers. When you have a number and you inverse them, there's an intrinsic connection between them. And so when you reverse 238, you get 832. 832 is the gematria of Eretz Yisrael. So here we see that Rachel has an essential connection to Eretz Yisrael. But paradoxically, she dies when she comes into Eretz Yisrael. She didn't really have the opportunity to enjoy Eretz Yisrael. And so here, Rachel is crying through the generations and in a deep spiritual way, it's her tears that help pave the way back because her children are returning. We are seeing in our day the ingathering of the exiles. And there's an expression that life is only worth living if you have something to die for. It's an extreme statement, but the sentiment is that paradoxically, when we have something that we're willing to give our whole being to, that makes life worth living. And if we think of, for thousands of years, the Jewish people cried and prayed and never lost hope of returning to their borders. Like the prophet Jeremiah promises Rachel, Veshavu banim ligvulam. We are seeing it in our days and the tears of Rachel, we have no idea how, how powerful they were. And it's part of the mystery of why she dies close to the entry into Eretz Yisrael. 
And so may we continue to see the ingathering of the exiles and that someday Rachel's tears will turn to tears of joy when all of her children return to the borders of the Holy Land.